The Central Semitic Languages are a proposed intermediate group of Semitic languages, comprising the Late Iron Age, Modern Dialect of Arabic, and Older Bronze Age Northwest Semitic languages. In this reckoning Central Semitic itself is one of three divisions of Semitic along with East Semitic and South Semitic. Distinctive features of Central Semitic languages include the following. The realization of the common Semitic emphatic consonants as pharyngealized rather than ejectives, e.g., Proto-Semitic asterisk T, T and asterisk S, T, S are realized as T and S in Arabic and Neo-Aramaic, in contrast to remaining adjectives in South Arabian and in Ethiopian Semitic. Additionally, Proto-Semitic asterisk K, K becomes a uvula stop, Q, an innovative negation marker asterisk BAL of uncertain origin. The generalization of T is the suffix conjugation past tense marker, leveling an earlier alternation between asterisk K in the first person and asterisk T in the second person. A new prefix conjugation for the non-past tense of the form ya q tulu, replacing the inherited ya katal form, leveling of vowels in verb prefixes. The evidence of Akkadian suggests four proto-Semitic prefixes. Asterisk a, asterisk ta, asterisk ni, asterisk e. In Central Semitic, all prefixes have the same vowel within a given verb paradigm. This however developed slightly differently in the different languages. Arabic has generalized a in all prefixes, while Northwest Semitic has generalized either a or i, depending on the verb stem in question. Different classification systems disagree on the precise structure of the group. The most common approach divides it into Arabic and Northwest Semitic, while Sil Ethnologue has South Central Semitic versus Aramaic. The main distinction between Arabic and the Northwest Semitic languages is the presence of broken plurals in the former. The majority of Arabic masculine non-human nouns form plurals in this manner, whereas almost all nouns in the Northwest Semitic languages form their plurals with a suffix. For example, the Arabic bait becomes bayat, the Hebrew bayat becomes batam, 